Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 166 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. Let us find an opponent. We were sitting at 1703. We got our first copy of the day and we got Citizen Cage 1770. We're playing with the black pieces. Cairo Khan. So we are newly. Oh, we see the fantasy. Okay, so we're going to go for a line that I'm not. 100% familiar with, but we're gonna sack a pawn just to try and take advantage of this. So after takes, we go here. If he takes, I don't play against the fantasy variation very often, so I don't have a whole lot of practice with it. I just know a couple of lines. Normally, I would take here, but I'm assuming that this guy sees that the most. So he opts to not take the pawn, keep the tension. So to be honest, now I'm kind of like out of prep, if you will. So if I play here, and he goes here, I think I can play this. Because if he takes, then I take the rook. So let's go ahead and pin the knight. Now we are threatening to take, attacking the knight. Once again, if he does this, we go here. And then he'll probably play this. If I go here after this, and he takes, I take. Is there any way to trap my queen? I don't think so. We've also opened up the lines over here. So this can be utilized, possibly. Okay, he develops his knight. Now, I was just saying that I could go here, but that just loses a pawn. So he defends it once more. But now I'm thinking about takes, because if he takes back, then I have this check. He can't do this. I mean, he can, but yeah, let's go ahead and take here now. He takes back, so we should be able to get this pawn. If I go check, he's going to have to move the king or do this, and then I get this pawn. This is still pinned. So I kind of like this. Oh, he can block like that, can't he? Okay. That's very interesting. But now I can not go there. Maybe we can hit the queen. So if I go here, and he goes here, and I take, he goes here, then we have this. That looks pretty good, I must say. Because both of his knights are pinned, and there's no checks over here along this file, because this pawn has been moved. Now, I really do want to get castled, but... We do have some stuff going on right now, so... Now, he doesn't have to, you know, bring the bishop out, but what else can he do? He has to move the, the queen. If he just moves the queen, I'll probably just develop or something. I guess not here, because then takes. But then again, if I go here and he takes, then I have takes here. Putting more pressure on everything. I guess, like, if he goes here, I take, he takes. Then I go here, he can ha he can do this. But that's just takes, if takes takes or takes here takes here takes the pawn here it'll probably be lost though <laughs> we're on move seven and he's used five minutes to think already this is why i hate the fantasy variation of the Karl Khan. this is why i stopped playing it okay so he's challenging my bishop he is attacking it so i must do something we're gonna take that was my whole plan along. So now I want to go here, but then he's going to go here. And then takes, takes, takes. And there's really not that much. But then maybe this, but then he goes here. If takes and here, I wonder if it's better to go here. But then he pushes. No. So takes, here, here. Knight hangs, knight hangs. So if I go here, where can he go with this knight? Can't go here or here. Has to go here, here. So yeah, I think we just go here. And we should be winning something. He can go here, though. Ooh. Did we just blunder? I think we blundered. Because after here, yeah. Because if I take, he takes with check. Then I go here? No. Still doesn't have any checks, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and slide back. He develops the knight. Protects. Gets out of the way. Which also just hangs this pawn. But if I take the pawn, there's this check. No, I take. He can't do anything. Let's just develop, I think. Let's develop in castle. Just be as safe as possible. Stockfish probably wanted me to take, but I feel like getting our king to safety is more important. And yeah, now we're actually getting very stuck here. Are we just lost? We're lost. Yeah, we just got our queen stuck. Wow, what's that? Wow. I mean, if I go here, he just does this. That's so unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> Whatever. Wow. Ridiculous. Okay. 
Well, that was GG's for him. So, yeah, developing the knight, I completely overlooked that he could come in. Even if I had taken the pawn, we're still going to lose. Okay, note to self. Fantasy Caracon. Be very careful with where your queen is when there's a lot of pieces out like that. So unfortunate. I definitely feel like I had some kind of edge there, but I guess he did a good job of defending it. Then I just completely overlooked that uh, our queen was going to be stuck. Now he's going to castle long. Yeah, he's hitting the pawn. So if I go here to protect the pawn, is there an issue? I don't think so. We're going to take it. Our king's still in the center of the board. <laughs> And it's going to stay in the center of the board, I guess. Okay, so I don't want to come forward. That seems terrible. Let's go here. Takes the pawn, maybe? Oh, he gets that pawn. Nice, dude. Nice. Uh, we're going to have to... We're going to set something up here. Let's bring the rook. We want this check. That's what I'm setting up. We just have to play for tricks at this point. Yeah, he moves the queen. He's not an idiot. Okay, let's go ahead and get the king over here. So I guess I need to freshen up on some fantasy theory because i just played that on intuition basically and then got my queen trapped that sucks so he's sacking sacking a knight to get in nice oh my gosh we're just getting checkmated so where do i want to go here i don't want to go here i lo that loses on the spot we have to go here no choice yeah so he's attacking this pawn i mean i can defend it I don't see why I don't just go defend that pawn. This would be a hilarious blunder. It wouldn't be that bad because he's just, he's still up so much material, but I mean, he goes here, here. There's just this. It's just a trade. It's not even a blunder. My opponent just takes a pawn, stops any checks. I mean, I feel like we just go ahead and line up some funny business here, maybe. We'll see. Okay, he's coming in, attacking this. So I could defend in such a manner. I don't quite want to do that, though. So if he takes here, it doesn't look the worst. kind of wish I could get this up here. We're just getting dominated here. Um, Let's slide back. He can take the pawn. We'll go here. Check here. Checkmate. Nice, dude. Nice. GG's. GG's. All right, so let's hop into a second game here. Okay, we got the white pieces against a 1670. We got the Vienna game. Now, I am gonna start practicing something with bishop to c4 because after the Vienna gambit main line, it's not really, everyone's playing the main line and it's not the most fun. So I am gonna start to practice a little bit of uh, bishop to c4 after knight f6 but not yet because you know a 1670 accepted the vienna gambit what am i seeing here oh my gosh he's gonna play queen to e7 is he not the fact that he took the pawn makes me feel like he's uh, he's gonna play queen to e7 because that's very it's a funny mistake because it seems fine right you're you're pinning i am shocked right now Okay, he just goes back. Now we have to play knight to f3. Bishop out. What is this guy doing? So if I go here, does he want me to take so that he can, like, come in? I mean, sure. We'll just play king, king e2 if we have to, after he checks. Okay, he just goes back. But dude, look at this position. Look at this position. Bishop c4. We have eyes. I'm speechless. Okay, he plays there, but don't we just en passant? Why don't I just en passant? Or, like, we could... No, we en passant. It's just the move. Takes with the pawn, and... So I think he wants to play this. Which would be kind of annoying. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But I'm already thinking of, like... Can I sack? Here. Check. I mean, if I pin, and he pushes, then we can take. And then we can just go ahead and castle. Let's, let's develop the queen. I am thinking he might play this move. But to be honest, it's not really that bad. He develops the knight. So he's protecting. He's also attacking this twice. So is there a sack now? Takes. Check. I don't think so, because this bishop's just there. Could push the pawn. Knight comes in here. 
Now, if I push the pawn, then this bishop is locked out. I don't like that. What if we just apply more pressure? I don't know if I want to castle this way or if I want to castle this way. Actually, if I castle this way, I'm going into this. I don't like that. To be honest, I think I might just go ahead and short castle here. Or long castle. He can take the pawn. Oh, it defends, actually. I mean, that's even better. I mean, I don't know how this guy is going to really develop. I mean, if he castles, it's probably, I don't know. I don't want to jinx it because I know how good the position is. Position is. <laughs> but just because you know a position is good does not mean that you can let off the gas and then, you know, not calculate or just think that you've already won because you have not. Okay, so what do I do from here? I want to just play h4 and then try to push the pawn down the board. Kind of want to play a3 to stop this knight from ever coming in. This move doesn't do anything because of this. I mean, I feel like we just play play like this, right? But if I go here, then he has this pin that he can do. But then I just slide over, and I kind of want my queen to come here anyways. Let's go h4. That also allows my queen or my knight to come here, and then I can come here. And if this, then... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If he doesn't do anything, we can just go knight here. If he plays this, we go here. If he takes the knight, then I go here. And how does he just defend the mate? I mean, if he brings the knight... Then this is checkmate. Ooh, I'm sorry, but like, and and also just like bishop back targeting this. Everything looks so good here. Knight in. So he's attacking the pawn. So if I go here, he takes. I go here. He goes here. I take. If he takes, it's mate. I don't want to throw this though. Here. If this. Here. Just like I said. So knight here. If this, well, then we're fine. Because now he's created a lot of dark squared weaknesses. So here, if takes the pawn, queen in. If knight back, then checkmate. Let's go ahead and play knight in. If this, queen here. He's got too much pressure on the knight with threats of mate. And if this, queen in. If he takes, takes. Is there a defense? There's, there's just nothing that he can do. In worst case scenario, then we go ahead and just move. Also queen in what okay he takes here threatening mate also it's not just mate that we're threatening we're th we have three attackers on this pawn so like if he goes here i can probably do this to kick this away he's got checks which pick up a bishop no he doesn't because bishop here and knight blocks to be honest i might just play king to b1 next move knight blocks really Ooh, that's decent actually so if i take he's gonna take and then there's nothing. What if I move? Can we sack? Takes. Check. He has to go back. Takes here. Check. Or no, it's not check. But we take. We're hitting this. So if here, here. This is the most forcing line. Here, here. We take the knight. If he takes. No, 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 wait. Takes. Takes. Do we give this check? But then he can block. So we don't want to give the check. So here, here. Takes. If takes then we can't take back, but we can give a check here. No, he wouldn't be able to block. I th I'm going to sack the knight. I think this just is fine. We have so many attackers. And if he doesn't take, then we're going to take here. Okay, I missed that move. Check. He can take. I think I sack. He takes. I go here. He goes here. We're going to be losing material probably. Yeah, I kind of got myself in a pickle here. And if I go here, what if I counterattack takes? I can offer a trade, but after takes, takes, he goes here. Doesn't really benefit me. And if the queens come off the board, then I lose. Takes, takes. Is there anything? Takes, takes. Come back. We can't do that. We're going to have to sacrifice the bishop here. And then he's going to take like this. this so bad. Yes. Okay, let's go here. Oh, he's also hitting the rook. Okay, now we have to bring the queen here. If he takes the rook, I think that's a mistake, letting the knight out. I think the knight's more valuable than this. If here takes, he takes. Mm, I don't like, I don't like what's happened here. Oh, I missed, I missed bishop to g4. I missed that. We're missing, today we're missing attacking moves that my opponent has. And this is why I was saying, you can't just be overconfident because then you you do stuff like this. But it is what it is. This is how you learn how to attack. Okay, so he just takes. 
Now we're gonna take that knight. This is hanging. This is hanging. Yeah, he's up two points already. And then he's gonna be up in exchange. Not good, not good. Here, here. Really? This guy's finding a lot of good moves. If I go queen here, he goes here? No, because then the bishop hangs. But here takes protected. Wow. <sighs> my gosh. My, oh my, oh my. To be honest, this is just embarrassing, but... Yeah, he just cashes in. Makes sense. So, I mean, I need to take. Now what I'm threatening is to take and then take. But, I mean, there's just nothing. There's just nothing. Okay, we'll take. Check. Just gets out of everything. But then I'll just go back. But, like, he's just up a, he's just up a piece. So, he can, he can afford it. Yeah, so he just goes to trade. Makes sense. I mean, he's just, he's just up a piece. It's as simple as that. And he's probably going to trade. No, he gives a check. That's, a, that's actually kind of interesting. So I don't really want to... If I go here, I think he wants to take and then try to threaten back rank mate. I think that's his kind of idea. Let's come out so that I don't have any threats of back rank mate. And if he gets greedy and takes the pawn, we have check picking up the bishop. And then we won't be down so much material. Oh, we won't even pick up the... Yeah, we will. Okay, I, was, I thought he was going to be here for some reason. He wants a queen trade. Of course you do. Of course you do. Actually, we have to. We have to, don't we? No, we have this move. But then he can force one here. Yeah, I'd say it's just GG's. Because the issue here is that if I move anywhere, he has this check, which is just mate. Here, check. And I get mated. Here, he has this. I can go here. Takes, takes. If we lose, or I can take, take. Go here. Oh my god. Yeah, GG's. GG's to my opponent. Just goes ahead and protects everything. He could take the pawn. Probably should have played this. But now I'm kind of uh, just frustrated with myself. So, like, how do you lose this? Why did we go for this freaking tactic? Yeah, let's kick him away. He just goes here, I think. We're gonna try. We're gonna do our best. Okay, he goes there. So if I go here, he goes here, which we don't really want. I think I just need to bring the king up. Now he's gonna go here. Oh. <laughs> wow. Take it. Whatever. We're just gonna... No, we're not gonna resign. I'm not about resigning, so... Just throw the pawns forward, maybe we get a stalemate. Throw the pawns forward, let's go up. So I can't go forward. Let's keep moving. And yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have any kind of stalemate opportunity. No. Okay, we go here. He just has to give me a check. And it is GG's. Okay. Or that. A million different ways. That sucks. That sucks. Let's take a look at the first game. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so... We actually, we had a slight edge. This is wrong. We just have to develop and then probably castle. This is a mistake, but I make a mistake back because he has this move. Going all the way back is the correct way, but not, not to here. I was thinking pressure, but no. And then, yeah, of course he finds the right move. Then plays this, and he's just got, he's plus three. Traps my queen. Plus six. There's nothing else to say about this game. He had a 1950 performance elo versus my 1500. Now this last game here, we were crushing at the start. Like, absolutely crushing. We were plus 3. En passant, it's, it's plus 3.4. This is a mistake. Should have just castled, probably. No, knight here. So we double pressure this. He probably just castles or goes there. 
Like, yeah. Anyways, we go for Long Castle because we want to start an attack. This is a miss, and now it's equal. Mistake, because Knight in. This is a mistake. So I, just, I had to just stay patient here and, like, line stuff up this way. And I take... It's not a blunder, but it's an inaccuracy. Should have Rook Lift. And then, yeah, I mean... This is just such a great move. And then I sack the bishop, which I just shouldn't have. I should have moved. And then let him take. It's still equal, despite being down a piece. Apparently because we're going to get this. And then his king's just not safe. Um, but we sack, and then... Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking that I was going to get anything from this, because... Yeah, he just murdered me. So, yeah, I mean, I knew this was wrong because we just take the full center. So here, I guess, just even castling. No, really. How do you keep the advantage? It says it's plus three here. Knight g5. Just pressuring. Discovery attacks. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm very disappointed in myself here. But props to my opponent for fighting out of that. If you enjoyed the video today, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow.